uh, welcome to the program. We'll put three minutes on the clock for you to present Fishbrain. Three, two, go. Thank you, Jason. So Fishbrain is a platform, an online platform for the world's biggest hobby, sport fishing. And globally, uh, there are half a billion people fish. You don't believe this. 60 million people in the States alone are fishing. It's actually bigger than golf and tennis combined in the States. And also the industry is staggering huge. It's a $48 billion industry in the States alone, which is roughly three times the global music industry. And Fishbane, we cater to the two fundamental, fundamental needs for all anglers globally. Catch more fish and then brag about it. So people are using the Fishbane app to log their catches. And on the back end, we're collecting an enormous amount of data and then I have my background in artificial intelligence and machine learning. So we take all the numbers, we crunch the data, and we can give recommendations on when, where, and how you should be fishing so you can catch more and bigger fish that you can brag about later. So they post the catch on a fish bin just because they want to brag in a peer community instead of a flat uh, Facebook or Instagram uh, community. And by collecting the data, we can give a much better tailored experience based on all the data that we collect. So we've been in business now for four years. As Tyler said, we started in Sweden and I lived in the Valley for many years. We now have 3.8 million users, regular users, almost exclusively in the States. We have 600,000 monthly active users, 2.4 million log caches. That's a lot of fish. And we've been able to sustain a 10% month over month growth for quite some time now. And important because we are building, as I said, we're going after vertical and the dynamics in a vertical is brutal. There will be one winner, everyone else will fail. So it's really important that we are number one and we're not number one in the States, also number one in some other markets that are also expanding to right now. But that's very important because the dynamics is brutal. Uh, Here's some screenshots. We can see that we have, this is, uh, if you look at the number of catches, this is a map of the states to the left-hand side. Very, very high density of catches. It's a screenshot from the, the Google Play uh, chart. Unfortunately, ESPN is ahead of us, but we're the second fastest growing in the states in the sports category, and users love the app. Our rating now is 5.0 in the latest release, 4.5 since the start of the company. And also, we're still pretty early in our journey. Uh, we're an app. Please go to App Store or Google Play to download the app. It's a freemium model. But we are building out this to be the entire platform, end to end. We should capture, capture all use cases for Angular globally. So we built less than 10% of all the use cases we want to have in a platform. The way we monetize today, because we are monetizing, it's a freemium model. You can download the app, the premium version of the app for $5.99 per month. And then you get access to all the data, the machine learning, the recommendations, when, where, and how to fish. And we have social, but also in the future, of course, we will monetize through commerce, through a marketplace model, because we can give a very different, unique experience because we know everything about you as a fisherman, where you're fishing, the methods. If you're going to Thailand to fish, we know that. Fishing trips is a big part of this industry. So we can give recommendations for the individual, but also since we're collecting information on the equipment, we, we know the best lures for fishing for trout in Lake Tahoe. We know that. Of course, you should be able to buy them on the cup in Fishbed as well. So the plan now is we have been strictly focused. I like focus. So we're focused on the states. So the plan now is to start growing globally. We've done our first localization for, the, for Brazil. 25 million people fish in Brazil. So it's a big market. Uh, today we do social and utility, the bragging and catch more thing, bigger fish thing. Of course, we should expand into commerce and also building from an app today out to this platform where we capture a bigger chunk of uh, anglers' life. And also integrating with, we're just inking a deal with the biggest manufacturer of marine electronics. So they will consume our API to tap into our data. So that's it. Well done. I am... Um curious in this business, when I would evaluate this as an investment, let's say, is, 
is there some unique business model here that would allow this business to print money and have a massive defensible uh, moat or multiple moats around it, Tyler? So when you look at something like this, what's great is it's been slowly building for four years. It has incredibly high metrics. Uh, you do have some decent uh, engagement. I would have to drill deeper into that, but 600,000 people using it a month, that's a good sign. And there's 2.4 million catches. Cumulatively, I might want to divide those two numbers and say of the total user base, how many have actually posted a catch, and then those might be a different bucket of users. And the people who posted 10 catches might be a different because I suspect there are people who you know, fish once a year or twice a year, but want to view fishing information every day, those people are kind of lurkers or maybe they're aspirational fishers. And then there's people who fish, you know, three days a week. And those people actually need the lures and they need the new equipment and they might have a different propensity to pay. Um, I do like the fact that you're charging this five ninety nine dollars uh, a month fee. Is that a subscription through the App Store subscription service? Yeah, it is. It's going so far. I've heard great things from my portfolio, com.com and FitBod specifically are doing extremely well with monthly subscriptions in the iTunes specifically store. How is that going for you? Monetization for a year. And now we have 6% six, 6 of the monthly active users are paying user subscribers. And with a very low churn. So I think it's, uh, we have a lot of optimizations to do. But it's, uh, it's uh, started out really Fantastic. well. Fantastic. Hey, everybody. I'm super excited about our latest partner on This Week in Startups. It's called Cisco Spark from Cisco. You know Cisco. Of course you know Cisco. Cisco Spark is a new meeting platform and a communication platform for teams. And we're using it here at This Week in Startups, and it is life-changing. It can make working together so easy, so pleasant. And in this package... For one low price of free, you get, yes, that's right, free, you get video meetings, team messaging, like chat, you know how that works, digital whiteboarding, and we're going to get into that in a minute, file sharing and calling, all of this together in one secure app that works on any of your devices, Android, tablet, iPad, iPhone, desktop, you get the idea, and it's the fastest way to host and join meetings, and it works with industry-leading video systems like Ah, yes, the Cisco Spark Board. I have the Cisco Spark Board, and this is a touch-based, all-in-one device where literally I click and I say, everybody who's in this room, you know, like a chat room, everybody in this Cisco Spark room, I want you to join this video conference. Somebody could be at home, another person could be in a hotel or on the road, on their phone, on the BART. Two people could be in a New York office, two people could be in the San Francisco office. All of a sudden, we're all in one space, on the Cisco Spark board with all of our files from that chat room. And we can then pick an image like we did for the launch festival and start drawing on it and saying, hey, let's move these tables here. It is amazing. And the Cisco Spark board comes in 55 inches or 70 inches. It's kind of like an all-in-one touchscreen whiteboard camera with amazing microphones where if you're in the back of the room, it picks you up perfectly. And the video quality, it makes you feel like you're in the same room without having to spend what used to be, I think, a quarter million dollars or $50,000 to outfit a room. You can now do it for low thousands of dollars. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I love my Cisco Spark Board. And on this very program, This Week in Startups, we're going to start putting Cisco Spark Boards in other cities so that entrepreneurs and investors from, say, New York, Los Angeles, maybe London, Berlin, uh, Hong Kong, Tokyo, Seoul, can then video conference into the show. And we can start doing remotes with startups from around the world. How exciting is that? All powered by Cisco Spark and the Cisco Spark board. If you want to see all this exciting stuff and try the software, go to ciscospark.com, ciscospark.com to learn more and sign up for free. Thanks for joining the team, Cisco. Let's get back to this amazing program.